Hey guys, I'm LB, and I have been asked to play the Ark series. Now, I've seen some of these maps be played before, but it's been a while, and I don't think I've seen all of the maps. There's a total of six so far, and uh, we're gonna start playing them. These maps involve world portals, and a lot of times when you see world portals in maps, it's usually just a gimmick to, to mess with your head, but in these cases, it's actually part of the puzzle in, in many cases. And, uh, I like it when world portals are actually used as part of the puzzle, because normally things don't, like, wrap around walls or anything, but when you- when you do that, it opens up new puzzle opportunities that I feel are underutilized. Let's get started. He starts Unless immediately out of the elevator. Aperture was the monster. Aperture and, and, uh, wait, let me speed up Cave real quick. Didn't realize Cave would play, that's interesting. So yeah. This is a world portal up to there. It's nice and... oh, that's cool. Nice and clear about where the world portals actually are. Which I think is interesting. I guess it helps you get an understanding of what's going on, but yeah. It's, I feel like if a world portal wasn't so obvious and it was part of a puzzle, it might be confusing to the player. So let's get going. Oop, got some eye candy. So far, we do not have a portal gun yet, but we'll get there. So far, we are learning the, the basics of world portals, it seems. Yep. Alright. Ah, yes. This... this one. I think this one's cool, I like this one. Oh, I don't think I've ever looked outside at the eye candy before. That's interesting. So as you can see... The world portal is, uh... In many places. It's in there, and it's also here. So we have about 270 degrees of room before we hit a world portal. Cool stuff. Okay, so then we want to take this, I believe. And we want to hit... that. Oops, come on. And as you can see, it's over there. We've gone up by going around 270 degrees, because the world portal just goes up each time. Cool stuff. Let's head to the next one. Now we get a portal gun now that we are familiar with the concept of world portals. Eye <laughs> right, candy. Lighting. More eye candy. Cool stuff. Not much to do there, so let's head down here. What does this button possibly do? Ah, it controls the world portal. Alright. Simple enough. And as you can see, uh, the, uh... Oh, I shot that portal in a bad spot, didn't I? But yeah, as you saw, the, uh... The firing animation that plays... Uh, does not travel through the world portal, it travels, uh... Directly. So, it kind of messes with the illusion. And there's ways to fix that, but they just didn't bother for it in Portal 2. Because world portals are only used in two places now in Portal 2. I know the- the endgame developer commentary says that it's used in one place, but it's actually used in two places. One of them's where Wheatley moves a- a big room with the- the fake turrets in it, he moves the room to you, but the room doesn't actually move, it's- it's somewhere else, and all he moves is the world portal. Ooh, look at that. That is a really cool picture. Oh, this place is starting up. Hey, look at that! So there's our world portal right here, and there. Yeah, as you can see, 
even though I'm firing through the world portal, it curves sharply to the right. <laughs> that reminds me of inside. Really cool eye candy. Something not many people look at. Also, is that tube just go to something floating in the air? <laughs> Interesting. Alright, so, I believe what we want to do is just this. What the? That was weird. How did I do that? What? Is that a... What the? <laughs> what the heck? I've never seen that happen before. Well, I mean, I, I've seen it in, like, a couple other maps. I've gotten weird effects from brushing against funnels. What the heck is happening? That is a really weird bug. Not sure what causes that. More BTS. Hey, we can see ourselves. Cool, yo. So... I'm gonna do this. See, this is what I feel is underutilized, is, uh, seeing things from different angles and, you know, not having to always use portals to get around. That's on- let's go on to the next. I'd like- I definitely like the concept of using world portals as a puzzle element, and not so much as messing with your brain. Okay. I vaguely remember this one. Wait, did I press this button yet? Oh. Interesting. That can get us over here. Well, let's go over here and press this button. Oh, that does that. Alright. And then we'll want to press this guy again. And then we should be able to make this jump, I believe. Whee! Yep. What is this? Ooh. A little bit of eye candy. Cool stuff. Although, this blackness up here is kinda odd. Ooh. Ooh! Look at that. That's fancy. <laughs> I like that. I like it when the test chambers assemble themselves in front of you. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm allergic to world portals. I'm allergic to a lot of things in this game. Right, right. Let's see here. What is the best way to pull this off? Ah, like this, probably. Kinda? There we go. through it twice. I'm sure there's multiple solutions to that. That's interesting. Why can't we do that? So yeah, this is one that I think messes with a lot of people because the world portals are just nonsensical. Apparently. Yeah, look at this. This is- this is the main thing right here that confuses people. So let's go back over here, right? That, oh wait, that was also here, yeah. So yeah, that's the thing, there's multiple ways around here, and it's, it's- it's somewhat perplexing. So this is also the same as over here. Alright, so let's actually figure out where we want to go. And here, we have... this stuff, which is- oh, actually it's just, uh, another way to get here. So here, we can just do this forever. <laughs> Look at that. We can do this forever. And ever, and ever. Alright, so what's in here? We can go in there. If 
we walk around to a portal surface. And that is the other issue with world portals, is that they don't always render properly when you see them through portals. Because the game can only render portals to a certain depth. And it depends on your graphic settings. Okay, so the question is, where would we want to take the cube? And also, we'll have to consider where we want to take the laser as well. <laughs> Whoa! That was unexpected. But yeah, I think that's my favorite thing, that, uh, this- this panel here fell down from here, and that would be where you would shoot the portal to, uh, complete the puzzle without using this cube. Okay, so let's do this again, right? I wonder why there's a target there, of all places. I guess because it goes through... Here. Let's see what that does, actually. Does that. Interesting. Why would we want that? Because this opens... Oh, we need something else as well. Let's go figure out what else we need first. Hey, Waffle! Sorry, Waffle. You're gonna have to wait for the video to come out before you can start spying on me. So, we want the cube here, and the laser to go through this, and that. So at the end of the day, we'll want the portal coming from there, to hit the cube, and to go here. And that is the challenge. I'm assuming this is gonna disable a certain fizzler, I believe. Or maybe that button does stuff. Let's figure out what this button does, first of all. this wall. Okay, but... Is that just a respawn for the cube? I'm assuming it is. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get this real quick. Real quick, we actually want to pick up the cube. So let's get the cube. I have played antechamber, ladies and gentlemen, so I know my way around confusing areas like this. Let's actually put the cube over... over here. So we can always get it back. Actually... Yeah, I think I messed up already. Let's go get the cube. Respawn! <laughs> Excuse me, it's, it's the world portals. That. Right this way. And so now... Let's think about this, right? 
if we do that, right? I think that should work. That gets us... here. Ooh, but that's... Mm. Actually, not quite what I wanted. Let's go back through and try again. Come on. Let me through. Thank you. What I think I actually want to do... is that. Let's try that. Okay, so now we're here, and the question is... Yes! Perfect. Part of the puzzle, right? Let's get the cube again. Whenever I watch people play this, I didn't really pay enough attention and it was really confusing looking, but it makes a lot of sense now. Right, hmm. This is the part. Oh my goodness, I feel like my game's lagging almost. It's like we can get the cube in there, right? I'm actually not sure why I needed to fizzle the cube and I could've just picked it up and walked around. <laughs> Actually, I think we're good. Let's see... Oh no, actually... Hmm. Yeah, this is all blocked off. And this is also all blocked off. Oh no, wait, uh, no, that's just where we just were. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely the spot where everybody gets confused. Actually, wait, can I... hmm. If I could do that, that would allow me to get on either side, I believe. Let's, uh... start this over, shall we? Wow, I feel like my computer or my game is lagging or something. These world portals are doing something weird to my computer. done this, right? Oh goodness. Oh my goodness, my game is really lagging for some reason. Probably all the world portals. So we're here, right? <coughs> the thing is...
So there's no way to manually recall the cube, right? We have to fizzle it? Cause that makes things a lot... trickier. Cause there's no way to get in here without the cube on that button. wonder what that is all about. Like, why would we want to do that, ever? That is a pretty big hole. I almost feel like we could fit through here. <laughs> we actually can fit through here. That's amazing. Of course, we need the cube to be able to do that, but still. Actually, that might be the solution to our problem. In fact, I think it is. However intended or not it is, but... Come on. I should've put this portal in a better place. Let me go back through and put the portal in a better place. Like... there. Now we don't have to worry about that. Ta-da! So now, we do this. And... this. Of course, we actually have to get over there now, which is a, p a problem in and of itself. I have a feeling the Fizzler won't just magically turn off, but it might. That is the most insulting place to put a portal. There we go. <coughs> and it lowers that wall. Interesting. Wait, does that wall lower just from the cube being here? Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. I did not know that it would do that. Silly hole. Alright. Actually, we want to go here. Yeah, here we go. There we go, I made this way more complicated than it needed to be, because I didn't realize that that wall could also be lowered by that button. My bad. On to the next! Arc 4. I don't know if I've seen this one. I might have. I guess we'll find out. Ooh, what is that I see in the distance? Light bridges and turrets, huh? 
It's come to my attention that over half of our test subjects have only recently awoken from extended relaxation and were unaware that we're testing in space. So, there it is. No conspiracy, no twist. We're in a test satellite orbiting the Earth. Commonly available information that absolutely anyone would have told you if you'd bothered to ask. Please stop forming groups of adventuring parties to uncover the big secret because it's that we're in space. <laughs> you know what? Uh... I think this is supposed to be an easter egg that a robot died here. A certain beloved robot. And, uh, I also think I am not supposed to be here because I'm gonna die. Oh wait, I can just swim in this water? What? What? Uh <laughs> I did not expect this. <laughs> Why can I swim in this water? Also, this seam is a little bit odd. Also, I do not think that it is possible for me to get out. Yep, I don't see a way out of here, so... Might as well just drown. <laughs> Interesting. The one time in a map where they, I can actually fit through this hole, see an easter egg. <laughs> Alright, let's start this proper. I did not place that portal very nicely. Let me, uh... Let me go back and fix that. That's gonna bother me. There we go. Maybe it's just... is this aim assisted? I don't know. Oh, that changed the, uh... Wait a second. I wanna see that again. What happens if the portal's there? That was, uh, a bit... confusing. What exactly just happened? So we put a portal here, right? And, uh, then we press this. <laughs> oh, wow. So that is definitely... Very much not intended that we can do this. Oh, whoops! <laughs> I just wanted to stand on the edge, man. I like standing on living on the edge. <laughs> it even it even quick saves. Is it like that? Oh, and I died again because I failed that jump. You have to admit, though, this is definitely interesting. Oh, that is... Yeah, in this game, world portals can create some very... strange rendering issues, because the engine's not really designed to handle this many portals. So what you're actually seeing is it it's actually the way that the game renders stuff, and, uh, yeah, it is not a pretty sight. So that's there now. That's the thing where... There's the hand. There's the hand. That makes sense now. <laughs> oh wow, that looks crazy. How about we just fix this up? Why don't we? Who knows why that water is there? Ooh. The door is just open. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> I love this. Look, you can see ourselves. That's us right there. This 
is an excellent use of world portals. I really love this. Antichamber did something similar in the final level. But yeah, we can, uh, in order to go up, we just have to go down. I love that. Alright, does this door open at all? Not to my knowledge, unless... Hope you have that opens the door. Simple enough. So, let's see, where is that? That is right there. And then, want to do that. Ta-da! Do we even have to jump down at all? I don't think it's necessary. Huh. So then what's that about? And where is that, actually, on our... Oh, it's right there. What is that? Oh, and it's designed so that you can't do that. Of course it is. Hang on a minute, what's this for? Not for that, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's just go in here and see what this is. is. Alright, fair enough. This is, uh... This is what we need to proceed. Oh, that's... Huh. Alright, well... <laughs> I hit my head... in this area... of all places. Get that cube out of there. Nope, that'll trap us. Cube stays. So... What I wanna do... Ah, I see. Ta-da! There we go. Alright. So we could've just grabbed the turret from here as well, I guess. Oh no, it would've, uh... It was facing that way, wasn't it? Yeah, it was gonna shoot us. Alright. Shoutouts to people I didn't have enough time to read. Alright, on to the next! As you've noticed, this is a special, long episode. So that we can play all of them in back-to-back -back session. This map felt like it loaded really quickly. Hey! I've been observed. Finally. Alright, so we know where that goes. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's the thing, is that when you shoot through a world portal, it doesn't create the portals in the orientation relative to you, it creates the portals in the orientation relative to where the portal actually lands, so... Bit disappointing, but if I made my own game with portals, I would change that. <laughs> yes. Alright, so I believe all we want to do... is this. Should be simple enough. Hello, me. That turret is somewhere. Let's, let's maybe press this button, perhaps. Oh, look at that. Let's get a lay of the land. This looks important. That also looks strange. Huh. My speech is the eye candy. I have a feeling we are gonna die many times. <laughs> Whee! 
Oh, and that still wasn't far enough. Alright. Fine. I will spread the gel in the traditional manner. Everybody wants to be a cat. Alright. Got plenty of gel everywhere. Oh, even got gel up here somehow. What's this for? And <laughs> we even got gel up here somehow. Not entirely sure how, but we did it. I didn't even see that. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, oh, but I'll come tell you on. this, it's a lively <laughs> one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Portal bumping dude. <laughs> Alright, what does that do? Exactly what I thought it did. Wee! I like that. And then once we are up here, what exactly did we want to do? How about this? Wee! That worked. Not sure if that was intended, but it worked. And last, but not least, Arc 6. No test elements, apparently. Ooh, what's up with that? That's interesting. It's the- the texture... of a guided portal, but it's- it's, uh... <laughs> you can't shoot a portal there. I'm sure you all know what I mean. Ah! Ah! I see. So where do... we want to shoot a portal? Wait, what? Really? <laughs> I have a feeling that's not intended. So, uh... For the sake of doing things the intended way... Until that gets fixed, we will want to do things a bit more... Like this, perhaps. Gotta be aware of keep tilting- Whoa! Look at this! Oh. Look at this! Look! That's so cool! I love that! Look at that, that is so cool! That is awesome. Great job, nice BTS. <laughs> that looks so awesome. Oh, hello, cube. Let's see, what are we working with? Ah, uh, what do we have here? What is this? Oh wait, I can't actually fit down here. This is just this is just a little weird spot, I guess. Uh, it's like that's not entirely sealed in. What is this? I guess just eye candy. 
But it is nice that the cube automatically recalls itself if you put it down there. Watch to that. <laughs> and that. Nope, I don't think that's the way to do it. I feel like I'm missing something important. Wait, does- I thought- hmm. Maybe the button doesn't actually recall the cube. What does this button do? That's what I'm missing! <laughs> Actually, does that... What happens if the cube is on the part that rotates? <laughs> it actually rotates it with it. That is... as nice. <laughs> cool. Alright. I guess this is just introducing a concept. I thought that button recalled the cube, that's why I didn't press it for so long. You'll have to forgive me. So now that we know rotating is involved... ...things could get complicated. There's a long cooldown on that. What did I just... I rotated the laser? Interesting... Where would a laser cube be, though? stuff. I love rotating stuff in puzzles. I think Batcat had rotating stuff in his puzzles, but not one that involved world portals. Either way, rotating stuff is cool. And it's also underutilized in this game. That's actually all of the arc maps, I believe. Yep. So, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!